Hey, my name is Marco, I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor, and today we're going to be checking out The Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. I haven't thought about Spyro the Dragon in about 15 to 20 years, uh, but I'm excited to listen to this. The Dragon City Golem Encounters. Uh, I'm going in blind, no idea what's going on here. Uh, let's check it out. surprising to hear something first of all fully orchestrated and second of all to hear something like that it's like male chorus and there's tension obviously because we have the drums and there's there's a little bit of crunch there with the two voices with the uh, baritones and the uh, tenors Isn't that interesting? There's a lot of crunch in, in, in these voices. Well, obviously this is an encounter. This is a serious, well, obviously Dragon City Golem encounters, but there's something about this that is very uh, uh, precarious and very serious and, and it's a battle f to the death or, or something. I, what, what the hell is going on here? It's, it's weirdly epic. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. So these lyrics are actually in Latin, and I'm no Latin expert, so let me just give you a rundown of this. Quis globus ocives caligine, volvitur atra, ferte citi ferum, date tela hostis adest heia, hostis adest heia, quis globus ucives caligine volvitur atra, dine hunc ardorem, mentibus adunt, an sua quique deus fit dira cupido, interrupti ignes aterque ad sidera fumus erigitur, dine hunc ardorem, mentibus adunt, an sua quique deus fit dira cupido, dine hunc ardorem, and then repeats, nam lux inimica, propinquat poenarum exhaustum satisfacta per hostis facta per hostis all right so what the heck does that mean this is google translate i couldn't find a, an actual translation so i put it in google translate what global citizens is the black darkness rolling in bring the swift iron give the weapons the enemy is here hey the enemy is here hey yeah hey what global citizens okay so we're saying the enemy is approaching the the black darkness which is why we hear that crunching in the tenors and in the baritones that makes sense it sounds like someone is running around announcing this kind of like paul revere in the midnight ride of paul revere dean it they don't know dine they add this ardor to their minds or does every man become a god of his own with a terrible desire the fires are interrupted and the smoke rises towards the stars that repeats a million times for the light of the enemy is approaching exhausted penalties enough facts by enemies made by the enemy pretty interesting so essentially this is a warning call a shouting out a saying of help us help us the enemy is coming we need to gather up our resources and gather up our troops and move forward and defend our honor and so on and so forth so it's interesting that's why we're hearing these this crunching and all these sort of this tension and of course It's interesting here too, there's a call and response. Qui globus ochivers. The, the call and response uh, with the sopranos, with the upper voices, and then with the men in the lower voices. There is this call and response, hey, the world, and the world is calling out in response. <laughs> It 
Doesn't it feel a bit like they're whispering to each other? Or whatever the lyrics are. I don't actually know where we are in the Latin, but so there's that like, it's like, oh my God, have you heard the news? You have to get out. You have to watch out. That's really cool. And I think that, that that feeling is like, oh my God, did you hear? You have to go and hide. Again, that, that, that forward propulsion and the rhythm. And now there's a call and response with the instrumentation underneath. This really creates a feeling of fear. There's this, mm. and then also when the when the choir singing, but there's something about an ah vowel where it's it, it gives us the feeling of like ah ah ah, you know, like when we shout ah, uh, it's it's the same. And again, if we understand that singing is just beautiful screaming, literally, that's what we say in this context. That statement makes tons of sense because it's essentially the townspeople or the people of this uh, village that are afraid and uh, scared and they're also telling us the player what's occurring uh, while we whatever's happening on the screen So we're not using vibrato at all. It's not We're not doing that. There's no vibrato. This this is like a traditional uh, choral singing where there's everything has to be unified. And the thing about choral singing is that we don't want anything to stick out because then we lose the unified wall of sound. Depending on the type of choir, I've been in plenty of choirs where you're like everyone's singing and then you just hear the random soprano over there on the right who's just and it's like ma'am. I'm sure I've been to blame too. Sometimes larger voices have a really hard time in choirs because you do have to blend. Blending together to match each other. And then also like things like stagger breathing. Stagger breathing is when, you know, if you have a held no like, oh, eventually you're going to run out of air. And ideally you have other people on your part, ideally two or three others. And so you're all stagger breathing. So you're not all breathing. Oh, uh, so then all of a sudden there's like this gap in the sound that wall of sound is very very common in choral music that needs to be there it's pretty interesting stuff and and it's also really interesting to hear something mm, so very not to say that spyro is immature but to hear something so mature in the context of a video game like spyro the dragon is really interesting to me <laughs>
And these symbols here, I'm actually starting to think that the orchestration underneath is uh, highlighting the invasion. And I think actually the instrumentation underneath is the enemy faction that's invading this town. And then, so it's interesting because you actually have two different contexts. On the one hand, you have the context of the invading force. And on the other half, you have the citizens of this place that are struggling with the smoke filling the air and and oh tell the world that we're being destroyed and we're being attacked and so there's this clash there like that oh Steve. clash 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 so it's very interesting Hear that clash. There's the clash right there too, which is really interesting. Very mm. There's a delayed resolution in the orchestra with the chorus. So the chorus ended up on the tonic or the, the last chord before the orchestra, which gives us that tension, which is really cool. Hosties, brum, ah, oh, that's brum, hey, ah, rum. And then eventually it resolves, pretty cool. That's interesting too when we have the trumpets doubling in the sopranos. Beep, 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 beep. And it actually sounds like like arrows raining down, right? The imagery there is pretty interesting. It's also a really interesting part writing. Very traditional style.
interesting ending. And then too, I think there when we're sustaining like that, I mean, you really start to feel the sense of desperation as, as this Dragon City Golem encounter uh, certainly takes a turn for the worse, possibly. I don't honestly know, but there is that in, inherent intensity in that piece that is absolutely sustained if you like this sort of stuff feel free to check out the rest of the channel feel free to like subscribe support the channel if you're interested and as always thanks a ton and i'll talk to you later bye